We are finishing up with this one now. This is 65. Question four, anybody wants to try? Anybody? Kaising, can you try number four? Add. Add it. Uh, okay, add, we don't need to change. What do you think add should be changed? Add. Someone had. Oh, had. Um, this is in the past or present. Uh, let me see this. Abstract still life and portrait are not the only ways in which art can be categorized. Uh, present, then painted mostly after the low still. Okay, no, this one will be had still because the action of looked is already, you know, over already. They have looked at it already, so it's in the past, so head will be no mistake. Okay, anybody else? Question four. Looks. That looks, no. So because this whole thing is talking about the action done, that's why it has to be past tense. It has to be past tense. And because this is past tense, your head has to be past tense as well. Okay. So in this case, actually number four, there's no mistake. Okay, but like I said, don't uh leave it blank first in case we're missing something out. Okay, number five, the paintings were seen as haphazardly drawn with less thought or none at all given to it. Number five, who can anyone? She's in school, but do this is okay. Always not joining. Number five, anybody. The paintings were seen as haphazardly drawn with less thought or none at all given to it. Uh, how saying? Can you just use your microphone to say the answer? It's very hard for me to look at the chat. Oh, Sean is here. Okay, wait up. Uh. Thought changed to thoughts. Thought changed to thoughts. The paintings were seen as haphazardly drawn with less thoughts. Um, no, it's the idea of it, the thing, the 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 action, one action. So the thought of it. So it's still just one, no s. So number five, um, Sean, we're at number five, yeah? So anybody, if not, we'll leave this blank first. Drawn. Drawn, okay. What's with drawn? Uh, change to past tense. Drew was seen as haphazardly drew. Does it sound right? No, here even though you don't see the has have had, we still use the participle because you're referring to an action that is in the participle. In the grammar rule, we're referring to the participle. So drawn will still be drawn. Okay, anybody else? If not, we'll skip this one first. No one? Okay, number six. So, or none at all given to it. But others were amazed by the way the paintings brilliantly, oh, sorry, brilliantly colored. So number six. Remember, if you cannot figure out the answer, read it out. You mute yourself so you read it out loud. Your ears will pick up the mistake. These paintings. The way these paintings. Um. Others were amazed by the way these paintings. Did they mention about the paintings already? Yes, they already did mention about the paintings here. So that's why this one, whoops. Yeah, but this one have to be this. Very good. 
Good job. Okay, so next one, brilliantly colored, managed to bring out the essence, sorry, the essence of the objects in all of them without too much attention. Okay, number seven. Anyone? How's uh who's Sean can or oh, Sean your can you try your microphone or not? Because it's very hard for me to keep looking at the chat. Eh? Cannot hear you. Eh? Yo. Brought, brought, brought. Uh, managed to brought out. No, after two, no past tense, no ing. After two, oops. After two, no past tense, no ing. Anyone else? If not, we're going to skip. Skipping. I guess we're skipping. Okay. So in all of them, without too much attention, paid on details. Many artists of that time still have. Okay, number eight. In that time. Nope, not in that time. Of that time is correct because you're talking about the, the specific... um duration of it. Anyone? I'll give you a hint, it's a phrasal verb. Read it out loud if you guys, if you cannot figure it out. When you read it out loud, you can hear yourself say the mistake. Two. Sorry? Who two. said two? Which one? Uh, Which one? Uh, yeah. Change the what? Uh, the other two? T-O? No. no. This is talking about amount. Ma. Too much attention. So there's no issue with these two. Anyone? I'll give you guys a hint from here to here. It's very easy. Hit on the on. Mm, on change to. This is your phrase of verb, by the way. So, hit. I don't know. <laughs> your teacher in class will say, pay attention what? To. Yeah, correct. So it's two. See? Easy. Understand? We thought too much attention paid to details. That's it. Okay, so many artists of that time, sorry, artists of that time still have their works display in museums around the world today based on the different objects, blah, blah, blah. Okay, number nine. This one, easy. Have changed to head. Nope. Have cannot change to head. This one is referring to today. 
So until now, it's still happening. If you say had means that started from the past, it's not ongoing anymore. But I say today. So it means it's still ongoing. So when things start in the past, now still going, it's either has, have. So because your artist is plural, so have. La. So there's no issue with the have. This one, no mistake. So what else inside here? There are works display in museums around the world today based on the blah, blah, blah. Display. Yes, what do we change this to? Past tense or past participle. Yes, past participle. Okay, it's not past tense, uh, it's participle, but it's the same word. Uh. Okay, display. Because of the half. Understand? Anybody confused here? Because of the participle, we got your have here, your this display have to be displayed. And this is not past tense, is participle. Because anytime you have your has, have, had, you always follow with your participle. Understand? Yep. Okay, last one. So based on the different objects that each artist has focused on, there is a great variety. Which each? With which? Uh, Based on the different objects, which each, uh, no, because it's specific. That is referring, not sorry, not specific. What am I saying? Uh, that is referring to things that are uh important. Uh, ex not extra information. So this one is not extra information, ma, Because the different objects, each of them are focusing on these different objects. So it's not extra information. This information is important, is needed. So there's no issue. Uh, no issue with the that. Sorry. Anyone else? Are there are a great variety based on the different objects that each artist has focused on. There are a, there are a great variety. No, there is a because a because of the a so is. Anyone else? Great change greater. There is a greater variety. The different objects that each artist has focused on, there is a greater variety. There is a great variety of well-known paintings from that period. Yeah, maybe oh, from that period. There is a great variety of well-known paintings from that period. Paintings from that period, from that period, referring to one comparing, but they never show anything about comparing though. They're only referring from that period. There is a great variety there. They never, they did not uh show as compared to present time. So no le. Okay. If no one can think of number 10, because I, I can't think of number 10 as well, let's move back up to number four first. Or anybody else still wants to try number 10? No, no. Okay, let's look back at number four. Let's double confirm whether this is a uh, really no mistake. Huh? So a group of artists from Paris painted objects, mostly outdoor, that looked as though someone had just glanced at it. The paintings were seen as. Anybody? Sorry? 
no Some mistake. No mistake. Anybody thinks got mistake or anybody still thinks that this sentence got something funny? All feel that this sentence is right? Yeah? Sean also? Okay, how say it? How say are you there? No mistake. No mistake. Okay, then let's look at number five then. The paintings were seen as haphazardly drawn with less thought or none at all given to it. Things were seen as. Which I'm talking about it right now, is it? Not the only reason. Yeah, this is talking about the past. So, haphazardly is L Y is correct because it's this one is describing your verb. So this one have to be adverb. This one is your verb. With less thought, this is with correct preposition. Less thought, correct or none all. Yeah, either or. So or is correct. Anybody see this? Mostly although that one is still somewhat interesting. So the paintings we see is how is it from anybody? Number five. We got four empty. So at least two of those will be wrong. No one? Okay, let's go number seven. Huh? Number seven, I think you guys can figure it out. Brilliantly colored, managed to bring out the essence of the objects in all of them. Let's look at from here, the D essence. Sorry, I should. Um, yeah, from the D essence to the all of them. It's a preposition error. The essence cannot be because it's referring to the essence from the object itself. So it's specific, so no issue with this. It's a preposition. Okay, someone tell me the, um, the prepositions in the sentence. First preposition is? Of. Okay, another preposition? In. Okay, another one? Of. Yes. Anybody else got any other prepositions that they think are prepositions? No? Okay. Okay, so one of these are wrong. Essence belongs to object. They're taking the essence out of the object. In. So, yes, in is the mistake. What should we be? On all of them. Uh, no, not on. Into. Into, no. Off. I see what you were saying. Not off all of them, no. I see just now you were saying what? You said in is wrong then. Mm. Do you yeah, know what? I, I don't know. Oh, I thought you knew. Among. Nope. It belongs, ma. Start with F. For. Nope. Close the other one. From. From, yeah. From all of them. Okay? The essence of the objects from all of them. Because the essence belongs to the object. Okay, so yes, we figure out one already. Let's look at 10 again. Based, based on the different objects that each artist has focused on, there is a great variety of well-known paintings from that period. 
is there any other one or not? Let's just now be thinking of the grid, right? Greater variety. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see. Uh. Oh, you know what? I don't know if in this line. I put the thick is on one. Uh. Okay, I forgot why I put a thick on. Never mind. Let's ignore the thick. I already forgot why I put the thick. Does anybody remember why I put the thick there? Is it the that just now? Somebody... Oh, right. No wonder. No wonder I was like, hey, why I put one thick over there? Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's it's somewhere in this sentence. Oh, yeah, I put the thing here. Somewhere in this, sorry, not sentence, let's, but. Let's change to have. Sorry, again? Let's change to have. Uh, no. Because artist is, each artist one only, ma, one thing. Head. Why change to head? The answer, yes, correct, is change to head. I also just figure it out. Why change to head? Past tense, no. When did I tell you that has have had is referring to past tense one? I did literally just explain this thing here. Has have showing that something started in the past, now still ongoing. Had showing that things started in the past, now not ongoing. So why had? What tells you that it's not ongoing anymore? That period, the painting uh, is uh, correct. Different. Correct. This is the one. This one tells you that it's already in the past. It's showing that in the past started. Now it's not going anymore. It's still, it's in the past. We really leave everything in the past because it's not happening now. It's not ongoing anymore. So it's head. Okay. So these two number four, number five, no mistake. Okay. Can ah. Uh, Okay, good job. And then now let's look at the SAP one. I think you guys should have this. Uh, I am going to try if I can share my screen from the iPad, then I can just write it there. If not, yeah. Uh, sharing key or meeting ID to share to a room. What is my... Uh, does anybody know? Oh, there we go. Meeting. Meeting ID. Okay. So this is the meeting ID. Eight, six, seven, one, seven, two, four. Okay. Let me stop the sharing from here. Oops. Meeting info. Stop sharing. I lost the meeting info. Where's my meeting info? Oh my god. You guys all have your PDF ready, right? Where on earth is the meeting info? <laughs> um can anybody find the meeting info? Or is it only on my side? Wait, uh, trying to figure it out here. Sorry, give me one second. Invite, is it invite? Oh, there it is. Two, three, six, five, four, six. Okay, I think I'm sharing the screen. Yes, I am. Okay, we'll look at this one. Wait, ah. Uh. Oh no, it's a bit laggy, ah. Uh. 
Okay, let's look at this. I assume everybody has this one. Yeah. Okay, let's look at this. Singlish is not easy to define. With a smorgasbord of languages spoken in Singapore, smorgasbord is just meaning that there's a lot of variety. So it is a, it is little wonder that a unique language has developed. Sorry, where is this part? Yeah, it is little wonder that an, that an unique language has developed. Singlish conflates Malay and Tamil words and phrases which are spoken in a peculiar pronunciation and uses predominant Hokkien structures. In fact, academics cluck out the use of pidgin English not being good enough for students to comprehend fully important, sorry, important articles or reports. As such, tertiary inst institutions now have English proficient departments to put emphasis in arg augmenting the language skill of the students. Then again, many would wonder what all the fuss is about. After all, this cuts no ice with the neighborhood shop owners or hawkers, which, unlike the cosmopolitans, form the backbone of society. They are likely to relate with their customers more expediently if they speak in English, in, in Singlish. Sorry, my brain is trying to autocorrect everything. Yes, okay, so number one, I think if a lot of you guys can figure it out already. Had. Has changed to had? Did you just say that? Uh, yeah. No, ne. take a closer look at it. It's very, very easy. Then has. Nope, not that one. It's not referring to the has. The, this part is correct. The has developed is correct. And? Yep, change. correct. To change to a, right? Why? This one, even though, yeah, it starts with you. What? Why cannot use N? Eh? Sounds like why, correct. So remember, vowel is not talking about, uh, okay, no, I shouldn't say that. When you want to use N, it's not asking you to look at a vowel letter, which is A-E-I-O-U, but rather to look at the vowel sounding word. So back in primary school, I'm pretty sure your teachers was, you, you've heard your teacher say, oh, anything that starts with A-E-I-O-U is N. Wrong, ah? Huh? Don't remember that. Okay, it's a vowel sounding word, then you use N. Okay, so unique sounds like Y. That's why we use a, uh, not N. Same thing with like, um, uh, year like e a r, okay. Why won't we say n year? Because it sounds like a y y y sound, so it's not vowel sounding word. Okay, so we look at u for something that's um uh, what's another word? Okay, umbrella, because it has the ah sound, which is a vowel sounding word. We use n, so that's why it's an uh, n umbrella, but a unicorn, a university. Okay, Ken. Okay, number two. Sorry, I just want to put the arrow there. But yes, number two. Singlish conflates Malay and Tamil words and phrases which are spoken in a peculiar pronunciation. Anybody? Why is nobody asking me what does conflict mean? So I'm gonna pick somebody uh, to give me the meaning. Uh. How Sian give me the meaning of conflict? I don't know. Ah, that one don't ask. Yo ha, huh? all same one, right? Kaisin, what's the meaning of conflict? No idea. Sean? Ah, see, all of y'all uh, I'll keep quiet, ah. Uh. Conflates, go and write it down wherever you can. Conflates is to combine um, two or more different kinds of things together to into one. So it can you can use for like different, um, maybe two different stories or more than that. Uh, combine them together to form one story. Um, that's like like those fairy tales thing. You know, those fairy tales, all of them are all combined together because they all tell one thing, which is to learn from the fairy tale, learn from the, like there's a moral of the story kind of thing. So that's conflict. This one, um, they are saying that Malay, Tamil, 
uh, and Hokkien, they are all being used together to form one thing, which is Singlish. Okay, so anyways, back to number two. So number two, Singlish conflicts Malay and Tamil words and phrases which are spoken in a peculiar pronunciation. Number two, anybody? Saw the chat now. Nobody? Number two? Uh, R? 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 Yeah. Okay, R changed what? Is? Correct. And why is that? Because it is referring to Singlish, not Melinda. Very good. It's referring to Singlish. We're not referring to Malay and Tamil. The subject is Singlish. So it's which is spoken in. Good job. Okay, so which is spoken in a peculiar pronunciation. What is peculiar? Anybody know? All don't know. Nobody asked. I read, read, I read this part just now when for line two as well. Peculiar means odd. Weird not normal go and write it down somewhere so we just spoke in a peculiar pronunciation and uses predominant Hawking structures it's very tricky line three but once you figure it out you'll be like oh my god how did i miss it it's tricky but it's not difficult yeah i should say that The users? Uh, users has no mistake, but that is your hint. Users is the hint. Users have to be with S because Singlish is still talking about Singlish. That's why users still is correct. But users is the hint. Structure, same structure. No, no. Users is the hint. So there's nothing to do with the structures already. And Hokkien got many, many different structures. Ma. It's ref this structure is referring to grammar structure. So in, like, in English, we've got a lot of different grammatical structure. So same thing. But your hint is users. Tell me, users is what grammar rule? Verb. Verb. So something. From here, the <clears throat> predominant. Uh -huh. Change to? I don't know. Users is a verb. Predominantly. Yeah, we change to what? Predominantly is what? Grammar rule. Adverb. All right, so we change to adverb. Oh, understand verb describing your adverb. Ma. Predominant have to change to your adverb. Okay, and then next one. In fact, academics cut out the use of pidgin English not being good enough for students to comprehend fully important articles or reports. No one's asking me the meaning of what pigeons is. So all of y'all know what that is, ah? So everybody knows what that is. I just asked you guys a question. So everybody knows what that is. Uh. Don't know. Know. Yeah, don't know. Must ask already. I'm pretty sure all of y'all don't know. Okay, keep quiet on me. How are you guys supposed to learn if you don't ask? Pigeon English. Pigeon is referring to something in the most basic uh, sense. Simple. And then another thing that you guys need to ask me or understand. Uh.
the club word. Yeah. Anybody want to guess what that is? Pick out. Okay, so almost there. It's just actually um a sound that you make to show that you disapprove with something. It could be like a the your how do you make the the sound like the TSK sound that you can make with your tongue like the clicking of your tongue this word you guys know what this one is the TSK like tisk tisk but it's you don't say tisk we we do the sound which I can I'm pretty sure you guys cannot hear why I'm making that sound do you all know don't know I think you all know, right? I'm trying. I'm making that sound, but I don't think you can pick it up. The sound. It's like you're annoyed or something. Yes, correct. Yeah. So that's that's what it means. Okay. So yeah. Anyway, number four. So in fact, academics cluck out the use of pidgin English not being good enough. Anybody, if not, we can skip. Or anybody want to discuss this one? Where did Sean go on? Sean disappeared. Anybody for line number four or number four, everybody okay? Don't know. Everybody don't know. Or everybody think that it's all correct. Or don't know. Okay. I saw Kaisi. No mistake. no mistake. Some say don't know. Some say got mistake. Okay. Now, then we look at number five. So English not being good enough for students to comprehend fully important articles or reports. And reports. And reports, uh, not being good enough for students to comprehend fully important articles and reports. I think it's an either or situation though. Not, not being good enough for students to comprehend fully. It could be end reports. Eh? It could be, but they never mention it. Is it option or what? Anybody else instead of the or they can give me a suggestion on what the answer should be? What about the use of patient English not being good enough for students? Anyone? No one? No one, then we look at number six, huh? Um, as such, tertiary institutions now have English proficient departments to put emphasis. Anybody? Head. Head? No, because now it's talking about current, ma. still ongoing. So your head is no issue. Anyone? No one? No one that we look at number seven now. To put emphasis in augmenting the language skill of their students, then again, many would wonder. Huh? 
how? Anybody? On. Hey, sorry, I saw that you wrote proficient first. We are Sean. Let's go back to the number six you said about the proficient. What did you want to change that to? English proficient departments put emphasis in implementing the language skill of this. But anyway, yeah, your number seven is correct. I know what you want to change. Your number seven, it was in that you changed, right? Mm, correct. So put emphasis on augmenting the language skill, correct? Then how about number six? I, you wrote the proficient there. Who do you want to change that one to? Proficiency. Uh, you're changing it to a noun now. English proficiency. Okay, we're going to table number six for now. I don't think this number six is a bit weird. Okay, now we, we, we table number six first. Okay, eight, eight first. Then again, many would wonder what all the fuss is about. After all, this cuts no ice with the neighborhood shop owners. No one's asking me a question. Okay, so Sean, what on earth is cuts and wise? How saying what is cuts and wise? Do not have important stool. Sorry, again? Do not have important stool. Mm, correct. So it does not affect. Okay. So what should the answer be? Then again, many would wonder what all the fuss is about. After all, this cuts no ice with the neighborhood shop owners or hawkers. Uses. Users. Users. Users? Where's the users? Then again, many would wonder. Uses. Fuses. Oh. No, 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 no. That is fuss, not fuse. That's fuss. There's no issue with the fuss. What all the fuss is about? These cards. These? Um, there's only one thing which is to use the singlish. So it's one thing so singular this. No issue with the this. The act of using it, I think. Yeah, wait. Yeah, the act of using this one thing. So there's no issue with the this. Is Change to R? No, the fast is referring to one thing only. The change to this. The change to this. What all this fast is about? Mm, no, it's specific to this thing, to the use of um, Singlish. Then again, many would wonder what all the fast is about. So all this cuts no ice. Do we agree that after all, until the cuts, no issue? Yeah, okay. Your what changed to what? Uh? No, no, no. Cannot put a prostrophe, yes. But yeah, the after all these cuts, there's no issue there. Can the is change to was? Can my is change the was? I think can. But that means past tense. So where on earth does it tell you that it's past tense? I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying that's correct either. 
because I haven't looked at it. If you say can change to past tense, means something would have to be past tense in the previous sentence. It's like they're just talking about the language. That could be in the past or present. So anybody? Would, many would wonder the would. I cannot change the will here because it's talking about the degree of uh, confirmation in this case. Remember I told you that will versus would. Would is more, yeah. The degree is heavier with would. So actually your is has no issue because from the start, they already wrote Singlish is. So your fast is about is correct. So number eight, high chance that there's no mistake over here. So we'll go to number nine. After all this cuts no ice with the neighborhood shop owners or hawkers, which unlike the cosmopolitans, form the backbone of society. So it's easy. But it's tricky. The this cuts no ice. You're saying that it cuts no ice, not with options, but individual um, groups of people. Uh, we've changed the to no it's a conjunction issue connector sorry or change to n yeah correct so like i was saying why do we change this to n it's because it say cuts no ice with this and this group of people as well it's not a oh if I'm not going to bother with this one, but I can also maybe not bother with the other one. And if I don't bother with the other one, then the first, first group of people, I bother with them. So it's not an either or option. It's not like, oh, sometimes I choose A, then sometimes I choose B. But it's referring to both of them at the same time. That it does not affect, uh, it does not affect both of these groups of people. Understand? When you use all, you're showing that either this option or this option. You cannot use both, but only choose one. But with N, you're choosing both. Understand? Okay, nah? okay then next one, number 10. So cosmopolitans form the backbone of society. They are likely to relate with the customers more expediently if they speak in English. The cosmopolitans? No. Cosmopolitans, what are they? Have you seen what is cosmopolitans? Denzel, what is cosmopolitans? How soon, what is cosmopolitans? See la, walao eh, yo ho. I asked you guys to ask me if don't know, just ask already. Cosmopolitans are referring to those city dwellers. So in this case, they are referring to those big, big companies such as like Starbucks or McDonald's. So anyway, in line 10 is a phrasal verb mistake. I go faster a bit uh, because not enough time. From here. With. 
Yes, change to? To. Yes, relate to something. Always remember, relate to this, relate to that. So that's your phrasal verb. Okay, so we have question four, five, six, eight. Four questions left again. Two of them is correct. So let's look at number four again. In fact, academics cluck out the use of pidgin English not being good enough. Can I pause sharing? Use change to usage. Use change to usage. Uh, cluck out the usage of, yes, the act of it. Sorry, correct. The usage of this. Five, six. How do I pause this? Can I pause? Uh, no, I can only stop sharing. Okay, I stop share first. I want you guys to try. Can I still see? Yes, I still can see this. Uh, number Anybody? And. And. No way. Anyone else? I forgot my uh, Gmail password, so I cannot access to. Uh, so what have you been taking down notes on? You are I have to ask, ask you to get it prepared. What's the meeting code? Can you get that printed out next time? Okay. Am I sharing screen? Yeah, I'm sharing screen. So number five. Who here thinks that this sentence got an issue? Or everybody thinks that it's fine? No mistakes. No mistake. Anybody else think got mistake? Yeah, correct. So number five, actually no mistake. Why is my pen not working? Okay, number six. So yes, we'll go back to just now. I think, Sean, you mentioned about it, right? As such, tertiary institutions now have English proficient departments. So Sean said that proficient changed to proficiency. Anybody can give me a reason for that? Or if Sean, if you know what the reason is. Don't know. Anybody? No? None? Okay. So yes, this one, number six, right? We can use proficiency in this case. Yeah. So reason being is like last time I told you, okay, proficiency, any, uh, who knows what's the grammar rule? Or anybody want to guess what the grammar rule is for proficiency? No. no? Now, yeah, correct. Now, so department also now, right? Remember, I always say that, oh, now and now cannot go together. So in this case, what can, why can I use proficiency to describe the department? 
English. Uh huh. Uh, is that like English is the adjective in front of the prof proficiency? Very good. So yes, this one becomes the a word phrase to describe your department. So this English proficiency becomes the adjective, even though proficiency is a noun. We are using that English proficiency, that word phrase to describe your department, which is a noun. Understand? And then obviously for number eight, there is no mistake. So then again, many would wonder what all the fuss is about. Just now we mentioned about the is because your is is here. So this is is no mistake. So that's why number eight, no mistake. Understand? Okay, so if uh, everybody okay with this one? It's tricky, yes, right? So this shows that you guys need to practice some more, especially for the taking your O and N level one next year. Go and please. Revise some more. This file, uh, this PDF has uh, four more practices. Yeah, test two to test five. You got time, please go and do it. Then uh, we will discuss it the following question, uh, the following weeks. Uh. Um, let me see. Uh. There, the class will run until December um, 15, no, 19. Yeah, December 19, because then after that, the following Monday is a December 26 already. So until December 19, so we only got like one, two, three, four lessons more to go. Okay, so practice as much as possible because after this, then we got no more like free Monday lessons already. Yeah? Okay, Ken, uh, I will see you guys next week. Then hopefully you guys can join again. Okay, please don't be late uh, so we can start on time. Okay, Ken, everybody okay? Uh? Okay. Can then we end with today. Bye bye.